stand. Oh. Oh. Oh, stop. Oh. Mama, I'm scared. <laughs> what if it didn't hurt? What if I was made of steel? What if I could lie my heart with the pain I couldn't feel? What if I could play with fire but never let it burn my skin? Luca, Luca, hook your mic off. You're gonna put that on and then I'll help you with your ski boots? We're gonna, sometimes we have to open the door because things get so hot and sweaty in here. Yeah. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Hot and sweaty? You're supposed to hit the subscribe button at the end. The end of the video? Yeah. They can hit subscribe now or at the end. That's perfect. You got your warm today. Mommy, it's one minus. It's one minus? Okay, how do you know? Because I feel it. Alright, I just want to take a moment to uh, thank you guys all for being here. I'm really glad that uh, you, if you're a subscriber, you enjoy the content. Just getting up here with Adia and Luca today and I have no idea what's gonna happen. And that's usually how most of my vlogs go. Sometimes I think about an idea of like a message or a theme I want to incorporate into the vlog. The other day I turned the GoPro on, we go skiing, I put a mic on uh, two of the three kids. So today I can put a mic on Luca and Adia. I should have been a little more prepared here. Woo. I want to experiment more as a creator, uh, doing different shots, different angles. But that involves me getting my kids to uh, to wait. And honestly, 99.9% .9 of all the shots you've ever seen are just me turning the camera on and me getting what I get. And later on in post when I'm editing, I put it together and I make a story. Um, sometimes the story is a little more interesting and captivated. Other times it's uh, just us ripping and having a good time. Can I just have one little bite, not a big bite? Sure, little. Was that little enough? Our last run. What? Seriously? She said her legs are tired. Is this seriously gonna be our last one? You wanna do one more? Oh well, yeah. Well, well I could ski with Adia between my legs and give her a break on the next run. How about we just have a break right here? Sit down and have a break. You wanna have a break or you wanna just keep skiing in the tree track now? I want to have a break. Okay, let's have a break. Uh, Why are you laying? What? 
Why are you ladies? I'm gonna. Cause you're a duty? I'm gonna. Cause you're a duty? Yeah, I'm gonna. Sir. Addie was pretty tired today. It doesn't happen that often that she tells me her legs are tired so quickly during a ski day. You gotta remember that Adia is still only three years old. Power plowing down steeper pitches fatigues little legs and big legs the most. When I take any of my kids skiing, it's always a balance between wanting to nudge them and push them past their comfort zones to show them that they're capable of doing more, but also nurturing and caring for them and letting them know that I'm there for them. I'm scared. First try. First try. Oh. 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 What do you think of that? Skinny. Are you not scared? No. Were you a little bit scared? Skinny. I don't want to push my kids too far, too fast, too soon. Because that's how you can easily lose the love of a sport. None of us show up and bring our A-games every day to anything we do. And that's okay. At the end of the day, we still got outside, got some fresh air, and was active. And that's what's important. And there were still some giggles and laughs and good times woven into some of the harder moments today. What happened? I fell! Can you help me get my mitts on before my hands freeze? <laughs> Adia, I what you, were you not looking where you were going? Are you okay? Did you have a big one? Okay, take a breather, it's okay. Um, that's scary and Luca's at the top of the park. Luca's waiting for us. Come here, let me carry you like this. Arms up. No, face me. Okay. Okay. Okay, we we win some, we lose some. That's okay. Okay, here. Guess what? Are your feet okay or do they feel weird? Okay. So did you hurt yourself when you fell? Yeah. What did you hurt? Like, like, like both arms? No. Right there and right here. You hit your face on the snow? Mm -hmm. Right there and right okay. here. So, Adia, but the next time we come skiing, you'll do this by yourself again, okay? Why? 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 What? Why? Well, you, I'm just helping you because you're a bit tired today and you, you had a fall. But other days, you can do this all by yourself. Okay? When you're... When you're on your when you're on your A game. Okay, you do French fries, okay? You do French fries and I'll hold you. Yeah, stand up. French fries. No problem. We just go French fries together like this. Oh your skis are your skis are my skis went on you already. I just realized something. The last couple mornings, maybe the last three or four days, Addie's been waking up around 6.15, 6.20. And... That kind of explains why she was pretty gassed today. Courtney is really attuned to our kids' need for sleep and rest. And uh, sometimes I, it takes me a bit longer to connect the dots, but Addie was tired today. And uh, I'm glad I took her and glad we got some fresh air. And I'm happy I'm able to help her when she needs it. But pretty cute. She doesn't fall asleep and nap in the afternoons very much anymore. But during ski season, I had a feeling there'd be a couple days where 
she would feel zonked. It's a 10 minute drive home from the ski hill. She was asleep six minutes ago. We just got home, so we'll let her have a small one. Thanks for watching.